Liverpool fans have criticised UEFA for its inability to acknowledge that it is wrong to shower blames on supporters for the chaos that occurred before the Champions League final and its sincere apology for the disorder outside the Stade de France. Liverpool supporters hit out at European governing body, which belatedly apologised to all spectators who had to experience or witness frightening and distressing events resulting in women and children, been tear-gassed and pepper-sprayed prior to the match in Paris. UEFA initial apology blamed the late arrival of fans, thousands of whom had arrived at the stadium hours before kickoff, for the scenes that marred the game, a fact that was not lost on Liverpool supporters. According to Daily Mail. This is a start, but there is still a long way to go, Sir Kenny Dalgleish wrote on Twitter. This apology doest cover the false message about the late kickoff, events at the fan park, or what happened in the aftermath. With Liverpool supporters' union spirit of Shankly posting, your apology means nothing. As long as your initial lies and accusations remain on your website and social media they must be withdrawn immediately. Dalglish's daughter, Kelly Cates, tweeted in an article. Not for the late arrivals lies? Gareth Roberts, founder of the Anfield Rap Podcast, was among the other supporters to criticize UEFA. What about the sincere apology for the lies about fans broadcast around the world, during and after the game, stemming from UEFA? Roberts wrote. What about what happened after the game? and how people were treated then. UEFA that promised to launch an independent review into what happened before and after the final showdown at Paris, failed to recognize that Liverpool supporters had been put in a number of situations that threatened their safety. The statement said, UEFA wishes to sincerely apologize to all spectators who had to experience or witness frightening and distressing events in the build-up to the UEFA Champions League final at the Stade de France on May 28, 2022 in Paris, on a night which should have been a celebration of European club football. No football fan should be put in that situation, and it must not happen again. To that end, immediately after the events, UEFA commissioned an independent review to identify shortcomings and responsibilities of all entities involved in the organization of the final. UEFA need to understand that that they failed both Liverpool and Real Madrid.